This young, brown-throated, three-toed sloth is showing off its three toes on its front leg. Remember, all sloths have three toes on their hind limbs. Sloths are difficult to find since they curl up way up in the trees. Three-toed sloths are active by day or night and feed on leaves, buds, and twigs. Yes, total vegetarians. Look closely here at the mother and her young. Sloths are home to hundreds of sloth moths and various beetle species that live in the fur. See all those sloth moths? The exact relationship between sloth and moth is still unknown, as is the relationship between algae that lives in the cracks of the sloth hairs. It could be that the symbiotic relationship is simple. The sloth gets a green color that makes it more camouflaged, and the algae gets a substrate to live on. Traditional threats to sloths include attacks by large eagles, like this harpy eagle. Harpy eagles were shot out years ago in Costa Rica, and a few may come up from Panama, but they don't threaten sloth populations. However, in South America, harpy eagles carry off many a sloth to feed to their young. A bigger threat to sloths come from predators who catch sloths as they come down out of the trees to poop and pee on the ground. It's really not known why they just don't bombs away from up in the trees, but they are very vulnerable during their weekly trip to the ground, especially if somebody's waiting for them. Sloths can swim across rivers to get to greener canopies. They use a form of the dog paddle, just a lot slower. Of course, when out for a swim, they can be really exposed to danger again, especially from cats like ocelots, pumas, and that nasty jaguar. There are differences between two and three-toed sloths. The diet of three-toed sloths is less diverse, and three-toed sloths are more active, yet they don't travel as far. And three-toed sloths have smaller home ranges, averaging 1.5 hectares. That's a small home range for such a large mammal. And there can be as many as eight sloths per hectare. Each sloth may live up to 30 years. Now when a cow eats a bunch of grass, it passes through its digestive system in about five days. When a sloth eats a bunch of leaves, it takes four weeks to pass through. There are sometimes storms that last for weeks at the end of the wet season. During these, trees produce fewer new leaves high in protein. And with less sunshine and that heavy rain, sloths have a hard time maintaining their body temperature for digestion. This explains why many sloths die at the end of wet season. Young three-toed sloths, like this one, are abandoned by their mother after about six months. The mother just takes off to another part of the forest. You're on your own, kid. 